Just, I, I don't usually wear a hat, and I'm 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 loving this hat. It's the first time I've cracked it out in the last couple of days. I got from Road. Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. G'day, I'm Frank. Uh, I'm from G'day Frank. I'm from Sydney. I'm from Sydney, Australia. I'm a brand identity designer, and I've been doing uh, this gig as a business owner, entrepreneur, freelancer, however you want to describe it, uh, for the last three years. Prior to that. I was a in-house designer at a big television production company called Fremantle, made logos for shows like Family Feud, worked with brands like Disney, Star Wars, that was a highlight, uh, Qantas, Facebook, a whole heap of different brands out there. Um, who I work with though today aren't those big wigs, even though I wear a wig uh, <laughs> at times. I now work with small to medium businesses, both here in Australia and abroad. And with that, I am a, uh, a solo individual. It's me and my wife that run our business, G'day Frank, but it's me that does the, uh, the work with my clients. Um, and we work through creating brand identities and other brand experience collateral to help them uh, lift their game, to enter their market with confidence and clarity to create what I call captivating moments of clarity um sorry captivating moments of connection from clarity geez i need to get that right but what i'm here to do today is have some fun have a bit of a hangout here on youtube i've never done a live stream before i've been part of podcasts and other live streams in other places especially for speaking gigs just never on YouTube. I've put some YouTube content out there, not so much, uh, and not frequently at least. I want to get a little bit more into that over the course of the next few months, and this is my uh, big hurdle for me. I, I, I'm a little bit nervous, I guess you could say, um, but I think it's nervous excitement, and what I, I want to do in this particular session is to do some logo design. I, I don't do a lot of logo design in my day-to-day. -day. It's only one part of the full picture of creating a brand identity for my clients because we do the whole first part of onboarding and, and a bit of sales, that kind of, you know, back and forth, those conversations, getting to know each other. And then once we dig in, we do a, a brand workshop, which can take a day, can take a, over a few days. It really depends on how we go about it and tackle that. And then that translates into what I call a brand direction. Some people call it a brand strategy, but I then shift that core idea of where the brand is heading, what it wants to be known for, who it's targeting, uh, what's the essence and what's the culture involved. We then create some messaging, uh, things like taglines, uh, a brand voice, a story, uh, USPs, all these kind of things that just add one extra piece of the puzzle to what is a brand identity it's not just the visuals because the visuals is like the third or fourth kind of step for me in that process which is what i'm going to be doing today the visual identity some people call that the brand identity i get a little bit miffed by that but that's okay semantics aside um, that's what i'm going to be doing here and i might get this wrong I might get this right spectacularly who knows i'm not too sure how long i'm going to be here but if you if you're here and you're live and you're watching g'day but if you're watching this on replay again g'day and you can fast forward back and forward whatever you want to do uh or chop in and out if you're watching live i'm going to be here probably for over an hour i would I'm guessing, uh, and this process doesn't just take me an hour to create a logo. That's that would be lovely if it did. Sometimes it could, but there's a lot to it, I guess. And and this process typically for a visual identity would take me maybe three weeks to get sorted, uh, maybe even longer, um, and a bit of back and forth if a client has some revisions. So, without kind of hodgepodging around a little bit, 
The other thing I want to just say here quickly is I don't have many subscribers here on YouTube. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, this is here. There it is. Ah, there it is. Uh, press subscribe, tap the bell, be notified when I put up some content. I'll try and make it more regular. At least you'll get a little notification there that Frank has joined YouTube and entered that sphere. You might also know me from Instagram or on LinkedIn if you're here from there. Nice one. Thank you so much for the support and the engagement as always. Love you right back. Okay, let's uh, let's talk logos and let's talk branding, I guess, in a general sense. So when a client will come to me and, and knock on my door and say, Frank, can you help me here? A lot of the time it's, I need a new logo. And it's like, yeah, maybe. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but let's explore it and let's see what the real problem is here. I uh, very seldomly just work with a client on a logo uh, because it requires the bits before it. But if they've got all those bits before it, and they've sold, they're, they're sorted with it and we're, we both agree, great, we'll, we'll just do the logo. I did that uh, earlier this year for some clients. Now, what I'm missing here is, is that pre three-step process before it. And this is just a bit of fun, realistically, to just take a take a business that's out there that I've seen and found in the real world, could use a, a new lick of paint and just seeing what we can do here in the next hour or so to maybe liven it up, make it look a little bit more professional. And maybe it's one of those things that just that look alone will help increase the trust factor to want to choose this particular business over another for one of their potential clients or customers, however they might describe them. And that's a lot of the time what a visual identity can do. Um, if it was a product business, it's standing out on a shelf to maybe catch your eye and your attention. But in this particular instance, this is a service-based business. And uh, I happen to be just driving back from a local supermarket. It's the only other thing we can really do at the moment. We're in a bit of a lockdown here in Sydney. And I saw this van drive by and it had a logo on the side of it. And for me, I'm not one to particularly critique logos all that much. But that when there's one where you go, how did they make that? How, how, yeah, it, it need it. Yeah, it, it for me, I was like, OK, this this would be something that we could do a whole lot better, I think. And it's nothing to say of any criticism to the person that made it. It's probably the person that owns the business and that's okay i was not, not expecting everyone to be a designer out there you can all use canva but it's not to say that you're a designer and you do what you do best and i do what i do best i i, I guess and so i'm going to show you the business uh it's a, a kitchen and i guess cabinetry maker uh, they're very local to me here in the blue mountains just west of sydney should be this way yes i don't know whichever way it is whichever way you're looking and yeah I, i'm guessing they're still operating because i saw a van go past the website doesn't look like it's all that much used it's, it's very basic it's very simple and so is the identity going with it and it seems like it's a bloke's business uh, it's called rick's kitchen or rick's kitchens sorry and uh, i'm going to show you the website here so i'm going to shift across to this little view Hey, look, I'm down here. So this is uh, the website. It's nothing special, and that's okay. Again, someone that makes beautiful kitchens doesn't have to be a website designer or a logo designer. So it caught my attention, the, the bit up here. This, uh, I'm going to zoom in here. This particular logo here, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, it's, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Uh, it maybe it's a, a hole with some water kind of coming out in a, a sink. Maybe uh, I'm not sure. So this font as well. I don't. It, yeah. And then there's this color scheme here, but then there's this really good dynamic green, which catches my attention way more than the logo does, and they clash. So there's some gradients going on here with this logo. I'm not sure, too sure what it is. The font is completely different to any other font that's used on the website. 
Also on the website down the bottom here, I can't see Rick's Kitchens easily. I mean, I can see it, but it's... Yeah, it's it's not as legible because it's black on a slightly lighter black or a slightly really dark navy. But this green really sells it. There's not too much else on the site itself. Uh, there's a little bit more about uh, talking about fine kitchens and joinery. Looks like they do a great job at what it is they do. Nice woodwork. Uh, and then there's services, but again, it doesn't really take me to a whole heap here. Um, it looks like they do commercial stuff as well, not just residential kitchens. So that's interesting. Um, and then there's a bit of a gallery here. There's not. Okay, there's, n <laughs> there's, n there's nothing there. Okay, and then we've got a contact form which uh, has an address and some information, and that's okay. So there's not too much going on. And this is where we can come in and we can have a play and, and hang out for a little bit here uh, and see what we can come up with. So what I want to start with first is I'm going to switch to Adobe Illustrator. Here we are. And I'm going to write down just a few words that kind of uh, describe the business in general and what its purpose is and who it helps and uh, the in individual kind of services, uh, where it's based. And uh, hopefully from that, we can pick out something that we can transform into a cohesive identity that looks professional uh, is something that is cohesive and uh, consistent at least. So the logo and all the buttons and text all look kind of the same. And then we might do some uh, logo design, create a logo, some colors, some fonts, and maybe turn that into some real world kind of looking mock-ups. I did say I saw a van of theirs driving past, just you know, one of those white typical vans panel not panel vans just with those sliding doors on the side so a whole heap of different brands that make them i think like toyota makes them to be honest whatever it is a van maybe a business card and uh phone for social media let's say and uh something else we could possibly do to to work the brand and make it look a little bit more real world and see how it works so let's dive in so in terms of some words here that describes uh, Rick's, I'm going to make this bigger, don't worry. Rick's Kitchens. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to zoom in. Here we go. A bit more. Okay. So we've got uh, kitchen building. Uh, cabin at tree. Tree. I hope that's how you spell it. This is the problem without having Grammarly on a lot of pro a lot of programs, only typically in my Gmail, which is very helpful. Cabinetry, uh, look, basins, sinks, uh, cupboards, cupboards, um, fridge, fridge. Words that are associated with this. He's not making fridges, obviously, but words that are associated. Uh, drawers, uh, flooring, tiling, probably a good one. Uh, I'm sure he does a lot of, you know, custom builds, obviously. He's not doing stock standard stuff like you'd see in a, a uh, you know, those display homes that they do on, on mass. It's all custom fit to the premises, I would imagine. Um, commercial builds. And then residential. Uh, taps. Um, do, 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 do. Windows. Um, what do you call those? Like an air vent type of... I don't know what you call those things above the... the uh, above a uh, stove top. Let's just say stoves, firstly. That thing that cycles in the air, I have no idea. You could say it in the chat and see if it comes up here. Um, if anyone's watching and wants to write in the chat and help me out here, please uh, throw me a lifeline. Uh, wondering, wondering, wondering. Anything else here? Uh, say joinery. What else did the website say? 
specializes in design, build, complete kitchens, new and ready, ready, ready. TV units, okay, there we go. TV units. Units, not uni, unites. Uh, wall units. Wall unit. Okay, and let's go back to services. If there was anything else that wanted to reveal itself. Renovations, there we go. Alrighty. Retrofit, new appliances. Okay. That gives us a little bit of a start there. All right, so with this, this is just something to keep in mind of, of what's kind of going on here. Good mate of mine, uh, James Martin from Made by James. Uh, he does this, does it in like a word map type of thing. Typically, with how I go about it, it's a long workshop, like I said at the start of the stream. Uh, over a few hours, I really get to know what the business is, does, why it exists, how it does it differently, all these amazing things. So I get a lot more information than just me looking at someone's website and going, yeah, that sounds about right. So with this, we've got a few things going on. We've got kitchens, I think, in terms of uh, main things to focus on kitchens. Uh, we've got the name Rick's. Uh, and then which is a, he's a man. I'm guessing he's a man. Uh, we've got the letters RK, so it could be a monogram type of thing. Um, it could be a word mark still with no icon. That's totally fine. What else we got? And we've got this green color. Okay, so these are a couple of the things I want to kind of focus on here. Um, let's go R and or whoop, R and K. All right, I'm just going to put that a little, a little boxy poo down the bottom. Uh, so it's just yeah, I, I just want to focus on these things I think here, and then we might see how we can integrate some of these other bits here in some way, shape, or form. Alrighty. Let's, uh, let's logo design. Now, if you're watching this, I don't have any audio kind of going on in the background. It sounds quite bland. It's just me talking. I'm going to try my best to talk throughout the whole stream. But if I go a bit quiet, maybe turn on Spotify, uh, another YouTube stream. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, something to have a bit of background here to watch along. If you're interested at all in sticking around, hanging around, hanging out with Frank talking about myself in the third person that's not a good sign on a Saturday night I'm going to take a sip of water quickly alrighty um, where do we start this idea of um, tiles I was thinking about this when I saw him in, in kitchens and you know, he probably even do bathrooms who knows if he's doing the same kind of cabinetry and things like that and windows and things like if it was a my thing with logo design as well I'm going to say this to start with is that I I haven't designed a business's logo without an icon it's never just been a word mark it's always had some kind of distinctive asset that the business can use as an identifying mark so that no words need to be there it can just hold its own with that as a mark that people can remember and recognize uh, easily i don't want to create a complex mark which has everything about the business in one thing or too detailed that it doesn't work at smaller sizes or embroidered on a shirt or on a hat like these guys here like road who's the microphones that i use here um their, their logo is like really simple and they use this distinctive asset, this gold circle on everything. It's on all their products, uh, apart from some cables and things, but we want to keep it simple. So let's start with a square and see how we go from here. And maybe if we integrate some of these other things here, we could do a few different elements maybe that symbolize some of these i don't know 
So this is the thing. Like it takes a while to conceptualize an idea. And look, sometimes I might use notebook and, and pen and, and write stuff. I mean, let me see if I can find the last time I did that. Oh, here we go. Yeah. There's some uh, really, really crap sketches. <laughs> And yeah, seldom I'll, I'll, I'll just get straight into Illustrator and, and make something on the go and just ideate and iterate and just break it down more and more and more and just copy bits I like and, and shift them across. And this is the thing with Illustrator for you as designers, like you've got the kind of canvas, the white space here, to the workspace to work with, and you can have separate artboards. I'm not an artboard kind of person within Illustrator. Um, you can use this whole workspace like look how big and uh, sometimes i'll fill that whole thing like to give you a perspective for my own brand here we go this is uh this is my workspace for my logo look at that there's a whole heap going on all the different little bits and pieces i use say good day today and all this great design life things i have and my brand my podcast bits it's a it's a shamans of stuff and it's a really good way to just ideate different things. Oh, there's my old logo. Ooh. Flashbacks to two years ago. Um, so, yeah, I, I just push, copy and push things over and around. And if I need to have a bit of white space behind things, I'll put, you know, just a box behind and, and lock that off. Let's get out of that. Okay, so to come back. Center, center, center. Back to the back to the center, back to the start. If we go with this uh, square kind of space, and if we wanted to, I don't know. Let's. I can, uh, I'm just going to use my font that I use because it's quite versatile. And you had. Hmm. Like right there for me. Let's see. 10, 10, no, maybe a bit thicker, 13, ba boom, like I think right there if his logo looked like this and this was, this was kind of it, it maybe it could be a bit lighter here, 12, let's go behind. I'm using a lot of shortcuts here. I'm not going to explain keyboard shortcuts uh, throughout here. It's it's I, I just work really quickly with it. So you want to see the what I'm doing the process rather than learning things here. It's not so much a tutorial on how to use Adobe Illustrator. Um, but like yeah, if if this is what I saw on the side of the van, I'd be like, oh yeah, cool. And then if it had just something as simple below it, uh, let's say Rick's Kitchens. And make that nice and small. And let's bring down the. Oh god, is it called the leading? Yeah, leading. Space between lines. Ooh, I'm a designer. Uh, yeah, look. If if he had something like this, and maybe just a bit thicker here. Let's go. Uh, let's go that. Yeah, like. Honestly, if he had that, I'd probably be. I probably wouldn't blink, you know, all that much. It's still pretty basic, but I don't think I would blink all that much at something like that. You know, you could sit it here, make it nice and simple. Uh, you could tart it up. Let's let's tart it up a bit. Let's give this kind of idea a bit of an exploration of sorts. Uh, let's outline this stroke. Uh, expand. Stroke, and then we're going to turn on this. Okay, so we do that one, and I'm going to move it so it aligns. Whoa, what happened there? Okay, there we go. Uh, and then we're going to bring this down. Oh, no, we need to lock that back down. We're going to bring this down. I like alignment. I'm not big on something like the, uh, the golden ratio or anything like that. That definitely isn't my jam. Uh, my jam. And then, okay, so this needs to be a bit thicker. So let's bring 
this one. Yeah, let's say that's close enough. Actually, what we can do, not to say close enough, we want to be precise. Uh, oop, 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 everybody, hold your horses. Let's go here. No, oh, that's why. See all these keyboard shortcuts? They just get you. They get you. Ah, uh, yeah. So we want to move this. So I want to lock this. Command 2. So I'm using a Mac. And then I want to bring this in line. And bring them. So I've just used the A selection tool, the white, white selection tool, and selected all those points there. And then shifted that. So it's nice and balanced. So there is that. And then what we could do to kind of just spiffy it up a bit. Let's say uh, we can go to uh, an offset path and maybe let's go 12. Yeah, let's say 12. Um, so this expands just a little bit further out so you can see it just, it's like creating a stroke around the outside. Nothing too amazing. I'm just going to ungroup that. And then what I can do is select these things and then use this tool here and I'm gonna oh that's why we're, we're still locked okay I select all that I'm gonna use this tool and I'm gonna splice that out of the way and we're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna get rid of that and then we're gonna get rid of that uh, no let's not get rid of that one let's get rid of this one Ooh, it's not half bad. It's not half bad. If you wanted to balance it up a little bit, just because it, I mean, it is square, but optically it doesn't look square, which is kind of odd. So what you could do is bring it in. I mean cool i mean you could this is my thing with logos is that i have a good test for if a logo kind of works or if it at least ticks one criteria and that's the sketch test so if you can take a pen or a pencil and have or you at least as the owner can draw it from scratch and it still be kind of legible as your logo then you know great i mean for me here let's try this uh, bum, 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 bum. I had to look that last bit. <laughs> uh, where are we? Here we are. There we are. Oy. It's not half bad. I mean, like that there, I think you could get away with is something that is a decent looking logo. We could fatten up uh, the the text here maybe a bit more and this is a thing with fonts I guess as well is that if it all aligns with the thickness I kind of like that I'm a big user of of uh, sans serif font so without any of those little ligature type of I don't know if it's called ligatures but ligatures but just those little swishy bits at the end of a letter like that's pretty semi decent there could be something in in this that if we took this and made how can we do it? How can we do it? How can we do it? Like adding a K. This is what I'm thinking. Sorry, adding a K in there. This K here. So let's. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna do this. That's how I keep something. I'll duplicate it, and then I'll come back to what I'm working on. I'm going to move this out of the way, focus on this one, and bring in another K. Ooh. Slower case could do it. Yes, 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 yes. Maybe. But we didn't have it at Demi Bold. We had it at Medium. Yes. Maybe even regular when we scale it. Scale it. Scale it, yep. Ooh. Uh, 
do I like it still? Let's say if we nick that off and we push that, I'm going to get a bit closer here. So you can all see, uh, let's align that. Yeah, it's getting a bit boring then, isn't it? <laughs> getting real basic. I mean, this is this is the thing as well. You, you you experiment, you try things, you you think, oh, that could work, and then you do it, and you go, nah, <laughs> doesn't work. So there's an R and a K kind of example. What we could do also is just use the same thickness. Let's go back in here. Use the same thickness, and then do a bit of a, a jiggy mipu this way. Let's not do such a harsh angle. And then we're going to copy and paste and do that. Is that the, I don't know if that's the same kind of angle or not. Probably not. It might need to go out a bit. All right. And then we can create a little box here and a little box here. That box, I can use this Pathfinder tool with that box. There's uh, so many different ways in Illustrator that you can do different things. Like I could have used that Shape Builder tool, and like for this, I could use that again here and just splice off those bits and that little dicky bit there. There we go. And you got an R and a K again. We could shift that out a bit. Oh, that looks. <laughs> it looks like a sexy leg. <laughs> It's like, ooh, <laughs> uh, like special K scissors. What happens when you turn it this way? I don't know. It looks terrible. Uh, from where we were before, I think that was looking much better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shift that over here just to show that we've, we've done some stuff. But this is this idea here. It's not half bad. I don't think it's exceptional. It's how this could be also played out in different other aspects, different touch points, different brand experiences. Maybe you can put it on, put on a shirt, made a pattern out of it. I mean, we could take this and let's uh, let's do that. Let's shift back over here, and we took this, and then we copied it. What could we do? We could put a little point here and then we can shift and then do duplicate. And this is the thing as well, like we can't, we can't tile it because we made it not square anymore. So it's slightly off. So let's say if we did make it square again and shift it back out. Okay, do that. Let's lock it down. Push that over there. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Oop, that's what we're going to do. We're going to group that, rotate. And then we're going to push that in there. And then we're going to push that in there. And then we're going to do the same again. One more time. And we're going to push it in there. I don't know what the hell that is, but there's a bit of a pattern. You can <laughs> yeah, uh, th this is the weird and wonderful thing of logo design i guess you could say is that it's just you never know what you're going to get sometimes it's like a box of chocolates you never know what you're going to get i think we can t shelve that idea i don't really want to explore that one too much more i don't think it's not really getting me all that far excuse me i'm going to have a ferrero rocher this isn't sponsored obviously at all All right, I have no idea how many people are watching at the moment. I don't have that feed up going here. Uh, if you are watching, 
write something in the chat. I think it comes up in my little browser window that I can see. Say hi, say good day, say you're an idiot. <laughs> I don't know. So let's give another another look. Another go at this to see what else we can come up with. I still want to bring it back to this square idea. I don't think there's something in this. Just geometric. I think the idea of, you know, a kitchen, it's it's so measured and precise and accurate and everything has to kind of go together. It's, you know, joinery, all these kind of ideas. So we go here. Let's go back to the square. Make a big one. And what we're going to do is... Four things. Let's highlight a few things here. So this one. Draws. Let's go bold. Oh. <laughs> we don't have any bold, so we're going to change. Let's see. Cupboards. Basins and sinks. Mm. Tiling. Windows, I guess. Eh. Stoves. All right, let's let's go with four. Make it nice and even. Okay, uh, let's do four quadrants of this. So let's actually let's bugger this off. We'll do four squares. So four, two, three, four, and okay. Let's separate them out a bit. One, two, one, two. Just shifting and pressing down. Right on the keyboard. One, two, three. Look at geometric. Let's. Ooh. 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 So if we had an R, let's just make it a different color here. Let's make it pink, of course. We had an R, overlaid it over the top. Can we make a, we can make a shape out of it. Yeah, okay. So the only thing with this kind of shape is it overlaps into that. Oh, let's, let's go basic here. Let's make a circle. Uh, let's outline this. We'll go in ways, okay. Let's create a circle here for that, that rounded kind of bit. Mm -hmm. And then we could get rid of those other bits there. And then, yeah, let's just join these up. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's kind of... I'm going to save that one, maybe. Save that shape. Actually, I need to X and then that and then paste. There we go. Just to keep things, I need... Oh, oh yeah. I'm not going to explain that, much, that one too much more. Uh, let's highlight and select those. And... Whoop. I've got to press Shift to add. There we go. And then this one had that angle of the R. So let's just bugger that point right off. Join them together. And there we got a bit of an R. Uh, yep, there we go. There could be something in this. Just thinking back to that whole geometric pattern like we try to do with the this one over here, just how it could tile and 
you know, we'd, we'd, tie, he's, we'd probably do tiles, I would imagine. Maybe not. But if he does, does all those services. Let's see how we go here. So the only thing is, I guess, here is that like this shape here, we had to bring that in a bit. Because when it was square, it, it looked too, it looked more rectangular. Same kind of things happening here. It doesn't look so square. It looks quite wider. Maybe we bring it in a little bit. The thing here is it's just not so soft, is it? It's like not a... Could we make a softer line here, perhaps? Oop. Let's take that one. That one. And just do a bit of a... Let's get this right. Let's put one here. Use the Pathfinder tool. See if we can we get that nice and square. Yeah. Starting to look B-ish, like a, a B shape. Maybe not. Let's keep it angular. Maybe we can use that as a pattern kind of piece and it becomes a nice little tile or something. Uh... Oh, no, I'm just, <laughs> see my brain working as I'm just thinking in bits and I just, I'm talking out loud now, which is something I don't typically do when I, I do my logo designs, but let's take, let's say these are our shapes here. Let's go one, this one, oh, okay, let's start with this shape and then just go square, square. shapes okay so these are our basic shapes we're going to work with and then there's also a rectangle so maybe let's bring this in just that little let's get let's get tropical let's get a bit more mathematical here and make something that's somewhat rational so that, that's not quite accurate what I want to do is make this the same as before and then bring this in, let's say, oh, 100%, let's go 50, yeah, a bit too, th bit too thin, a bit too thin, let's go 75, so a quarter, quarter less, Third, three quarters of the size, three quarters of the size and let's boogie this one over oh that's not joined let's join that back up join the party and bring that baby down it's looking a little bit better how's it working it's small maybe it could do with a little bit more space shift shift Shift. Yep. See what I'm doing there? So when it when it's big, like this, clearly you can see it. When we go like this, to a small size, it can work when it's uh, a little avatar, an avatar favicon. Also an avatar, I guess you could have on your social media, your, prof your profile image there, especially on something like Instagram. When you scroll through the feed and it has a little circle there, we want to make it legible there. So it, it's kind of working, I guess, there. So what I'm seeing here, especially, I'm going to highlight it if I can, is check path, offset path, to... Go 1.75. Yep. That'll do. Uh, so you can see here what I'm doing is it's creating as well 
interestingly, if you don't see it from the first read, you can kind of see it again on the second read. Uh, back. Ooh, that's too thick, isn't it? So there's this kind of negative space R. So if you saw that in the first read there, you get that. Otherwise, it's the shape as well. If you look the other way, ooh, maybe. All right, got an idea. Because it's Rick's Kitchens, okay. What if what if that's it? Ooh, that's interesting. I'm gonna take a sip, think about it. Look, I, the, the idea I think is cool, just having that R and that K, it's a hidden kind of shape within a shape, within a shape, I guess. I just wonder if it overcomplicates the form a little bit too much. Also, if it was a little bit thicker too, but then you start. Yeah, this is this this is it. In logo design. You never know until you try it. Let's just give it a quick go, and then let's, let's move you down a bit. Yeah, it gets a bit lost, doesn't it? It nearly looks like a present. <laughs> It's the bow and the, the left. Yeah, you get what I mean. Yeah, I think that's going a bit too far. And then if they're too, if it's too spaced, that's a little bit too much. So where's our threshold? There it is. Let's make that a little bit thicker. Let's go there and kind of center it and then see how we can make it maybe a little bit thicker. And then we're going to make that side a little bit thicker. Oh, yeah, I can't really do that. Okay, let's just do it this way. One, one, one. There we go. That's nicer. This, I guess, is probably where we could maybe make this a little bit wider. I wonder how it's sitting within a square. Let's go here. Boom. It's not too far off. Uh, what if we center it and then put it into something like... Let's get that green color that he has. Oop. Where's my... Here we go. Green color. Green color there. Let's bring that in. Uh, boom, boom. So I'm working with CMYK color here. I might just change this to RGB. Typically, I would work in in RGB. Sorry, I typically I work in CMYK um, just because if I do start picking colors that are are too vibrant, it's not going to work. Uh, it's pretty close anyway. What was it? it? Looks more vibrant there. Okay, whatever. There, and then let's just make this white. Stand out some more. Feels like it's coming to life a bit. Ooh. And then, okay, if we if we make let's so let's turn it into a circle. Okay. That works. Maybe just shift it a little bit. Ooh. Yeah. Even as an app. Look, I I am I am one for very simple marks as a logo designer, like really minimal simple marks. It can't be too complex in my books. If you ever look at any of my work that I've done, they're really really simple. Uh their shapes, their triangles. There's three brands that I worked on now that are triangles. 
Uh, I feel like I'm part of the Illuminati or something. I kind of like this. All right, let's roll with this. I don't want to spend too much more time uh, banging on about it. How long have I been going for? Oh, I nearly been going for an hour. Nice one. Okay, so let's stick with this. Stick with this, stick with this, stick with this. And then just make it into a circle. Yep, nice one. Okay. Is there anything in changing one of them to P? Because then it looks like a P and an R, maybe. What is something I could do there? Is there something else? There's something else I could do. I'm just checking my internet here. It's still working. Wonder, 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 wonder. Nah, I'm not going to wonder anymore. All right, let's go. Let's roll this out and see how we can take this and roll it. I feel much better about this than this. It's two very different concepts, obviously. I'm going to keep this white. And we're going to just start by bringing this back and making it black. And then we're going to put uh, Rick's... Let's go uppercase. Kitchens, bigger, less letting. Oh, I should have turned on no notifications. I'm getting messages from me mom. <laughs> uh, about the football. All right. There's something that what we could do is maybe pick another font I mean, it does look maybe geometric as well <laughs> rounded something like a, uh, a papyrus <laughs> see it doesn't fit does it so we want to make something that does fit. Uh, oh, that's an interesting one. It's kitchens. What's that look like? It's lower. It's not very geometric. Might even want to have a minus there. Even if I keep the kerning, <sighs> see, that doesn't fit at all. That just looks silly. Font, 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 font. Fonts, 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 fonts. Hmm. This for me is always, oh, that's not too bad. Nah, it's silly as well. <laughs> Some of these fonts I have on here is ridiculous. That's not too bad, but we don't have a thicker one. Oh, we do have a thicker one, but it doesn't look so great when it's thick. Uh, I don't know why I have some of these fonts on here. Code. No, no, no. Oh, that's colourful. <laughs> How do we get... How do we find something that fits? Yeah, have a thicker one. Flammer. Georgia. Geneva. Geomancy. Hmm. Maybe not. Gotham, Android, X Kitchen. No, 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 no. <laughs> Where did I get these fonts from? Oh my gosh. 
might catch it Meriwether. Not a bad little complimentary font though. No 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 I have a few P ones that are good, where are they? P P Poppins. Yeah, Poppins is alright. You could spend hours doing this kind of stuff. Oh, that's the Star Wars font. Yeah. <laughs> my eyes are hurting. I'm going to put my glasses on here, everybody. Because it's hurting my eyes, this light at night, looking at screens. Sovereign. Not too bad. Boom, 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 boom. Well, that's kind of nice if we did a different style. Ooh. That could work. I'm going to just shift that there. But let's just go back to what I had originally, hey? Let's not overthink it. Okay, and then we're going to make this bigger, just so it sits a little bit higher. Bricks, kitchens, boom. No, I'm going to use this one. I quite like that one. Might change it at some point though. Actually, no. I'm, no, I'm going to go back to this. <laughs> Alright, let's make a little tweak, little tagline. Uh, uh, kitchens. Kitchens for the mountains. that make these two a little bit smaller and pop that up here yeah that'll do me Let's see what it looks like centered bum 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 Make them a little bit smaller. Spread them out. Make it look like a tagline. Spread it out some more. A little bit more. Yep, that'll do it. Nice one. Rick's Kitchens, get it. Get it, get it. Get it, get it. Uh, uh. Right, gonna bugger off the center one. That's terrible. And then we're gonna push that so it sits nicely. Height wise, there we go. Something like that. Uh, no. No, 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 Nope, nope, nope. Okay. It's Rick, me. Let's 
let's just keep it like that. Okay. From here, I said I wanted to do something with this pattern here, so let's let's try make a pattern. Run an hour. Good, 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 good. We might end up going two hours here. Let's go this way and pattern me up. Proper. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. Uh, yep. Okay. Pop you in here. Get rid of you. Pop you in here. Yep. Get rid of you. All right. Let's make some better. Zoom out a bit. Copy. Bring it around. Could reflect. Using the reflect tool here. On the horizontal, on the vertical. Yep. Let's do that. Well, oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, yep. That kind of like that little angle kind of bit going on. That works for me. Happy about that. Let's see what happens if I change it up a little bit here. Yep. Only problem I can see here is that these guys are not lining. There we go. These guys aren't lined up, so we just want to shift that around a bit. And they're not so aligned. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Don't sue me. Sesame Street. One, two, three, four. That one was fine. One, two, three, four. And I think that one needed it too. One, two, three, four. All right. Got a little pattern happening here. Nice one. All right, so if we color this green, and then we make a little white background and push that. So this is what I mean, I don't do artboards. <laughs> they annoy me, artboards, I don't know why, but I just can't deal with them. Uh, what if we had a few different kind of hues of green going on? Kind of change things up a bit. Actually, that's something to do. We could... Uh, my default is always Chrome, but I'm not going to use Chrome. I'm going to back to Safari here. I wanted to use this tool. Uh, coolers, C-O-O-L-O-R-S dot C-O. They have this tool where you can explore different color schemes. Uh, let's see how it loads. And then you can search by a certain color. So I'm just going to go green here. And look for a nice little swatch of colors that we could utilize. I mean, that's kind of it there. There's two there, so copy that one. Let's go darker and lighter. My color picker's not in frame. There we go. Is it? No, nope, I didn't copy it properly. Copy. Yep. Done. That's actually a nicer color uh, than the original rig. So maybe that's the primary one we use. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, 
Good, 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 good. So we can use these colors here and let's just go bit of, bit of this, bit of, bit of that. Let's go then with those colors. These ones here can go there. That can go one, two. That and that can go the darker one. There's a bit of a pattern going on. Nice. Okay. Let's chug along some more. So we've got tagline, we've got a logo mark, we've got a basic word mark. Keeps it nice and simple. If we compare the two, see if I can pull Rick's logo into. There we go. Look at that. So there's a bit of a before and after for you. What do you think? I could have a little bit more space. Yeah. All right, so it's, it's an improvement. I'm not gonna say it's the best work I've ever done, but we've got, we've got a fair bit going on. I'm gonna sneeze in just a second. Thank God for the mute button on this Roadcaster Pro. Thank you, Road. Uh, let's do, let's put this into some real world context of what we could do to make this uh, come to life here. I guess. So, I typically will take this, and I, I mean, I might not even be one hundred percent sold on the logo I've kind of got until I start putting it on things like mockups. Uh, just Photoshop mockups, nothing uh, flashy. Don't have to create things and print it off and, and do that kind of thing. I know a lot of logo designers will print them off and put them on the wall and kind of break things down and write over them and all that kind of stuff. I've never really, I've never really done that. The, the most I've ever done, I remember doing this once. I had my computer kind of against one wall and I could see it from the door and I'd kind of just walk past the door from a distance and just... <laughs> do this and just kind of look and stop looking at it and then come back to it that's about as much as I'd ever kind of do here but if I'm not sort of sold on my logo things I'll, I'll sleep on it I'll come back to it refreshed eyes and go okay is this really hitting the mark and I think there's one thing kind of missing that we that I I let's say we it's a team effort here that I've missed here is just this idea of these things here so how can we integrate that and make this here makes sense. So this mark makes sense. So maybe each of these little bits, these quadrants, uh, symbolize something. So maybe we could, we could make some icons. Yeah, icons out of it. You could use it for the website. Okay, let's do that. So <coughs> I'm going to move that over there. Oh, that's right. I'm going to try this. I forgot about that. Let's try this little shape. Here's one I prepared earlier in the kitchen. Ta-da! Let's just see what this shape looks like because I was interested by it when I first looked at it. Is that... Let's flip it. Reflect. Horizontal. No, nah, no, nah, let's just keep it. I'm not going to think too much about this. We've got to press on. But good, good thing to keep trying things, I think. Uh, I say kitchen for the mountains because it's based here in the Blue Mountains. That's something I didn't really cover too much here. Uh, let's just shift that. I'm getting very anal retentive. Move that up here. We've got this one. Oop. This one could be... Maybe all of it is tiles, so... Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. So that's one little icon. 
two. Okay, so that's one icon. Uh, we're gonna tiling. Center that there, just because I'm doing it. Uh, next one here can be. This can represent a sink, I guess. Appliances. Basins. Could do is that's the basin shape, and then you put a little faucet looking thing there. Let's go. Uh, might look a bit like a toilet, but let's roll with it anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, and then we want to do a little square bit. Over the top. <laughs> Can you even tell it? That's it's like it's like a top-down basin. <laughs> that's that's the idea. Uh, maybe that needs to have a second one. do this shift that make that the uh, tools oh. this one and this one go together and then we want uh, let's just use a path finder one and that one boom yep that'll do and then that's the tap underneath, and that's round those corners. And let's turn that to the side just so it looks like a. Yep, I'm just gonna roll with that one. Think too much about it. Kitchen basin, uh, basis, base in, mate, base in, kitchen basin, uh, and then let's make that one square like this. Let's make it fit the same shape. Oop. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Get rid of that. So we've got all a uniform size of icon. Uh, kitchen basin. Let's let's say this is a cabinetry, <laughs> custom cabinetry. Custom cabinetry. And let's make you bigger. Obviously we need to do that and then we're going to put a little door handle type dealio. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> little door. That says custom, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. Uh, what's the other one? Because I get it. Darling, kitchen basin, custom cabinetry. Darling, joinery. Let's just give it a three. I'm going to move on. Now, next thing I want to do is create a kind of faux site. We've got some things going on here that could just be cleaned up. So let's bring it to life here and make uh, this work. So I'm just going to... Start with a panel here. Make that white. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, we're gonna do a little strip here that is slightly black. Only nine. Let's change this. There we go. Uh, 
2f, 2f, 2f. Yep. Okay, I'm going to put Rick's Kitchens icon here. So didn't do a horizontal kind of version, did we? Works. Let's make it a little smaller. There we go. All right, so there's that. Then we want to have home, about, services, gallery, contact. Home is redundant, so about, services, gallery, and contact. That. Now we want to make contact a button and we're going to use that same green. Let's make all this a little bit smaller because it's just looking a bit overbearing. Trying to zoom it into a nice kind of size here so we can still see it. Okay. And Rick's Kitchens can just get a lot smaller. Actually, you know what? I'm going to not put Rick's Kitchens there. I'm going to put it here. And just have his little mark in the top left. Make that a little white underlay. And then we can put an image there in a sec. First, let's type in just kitchens. His home page, so have a little thing, which gives him let's get real, real simple about it. Rick's Kitchens, Blue Mountains Kitchen Specialists, and then put the same little call to action button. go okay let's bring that in all right and now those yeah these these can come down here What I'm going to do is kind of have just a little bit of a thing that says what it is they do, just as three kind of little points. Uh, let's spell it out. Oop, let's lock that down. Let's make these white. Make them a little bigger. Yep. Bum, ba -bum, bum, ba -bum, bum, bum, bum. Oop. Didn't grab all of them. There we go. Alrighty, let's change that.
that fill color. There we go. Let's make this panel here bigger. Cash that off. Okay, and then we have Just go. Kind of like having two buttons. One that could just fill it out a little bit more. This is. Ooh. Weird about that, it looks yeah, too too big. Too big. Nine. Give him some space as well. A little bit of a little bit of kerning space. That one the same as that, so we can keep some consistency. And then what we need is do we need to? Let's get a bit more specific with our call to action rather than just contact us, which is a little bit boring. Yeah, that way we can get rid of that one and it looks a bit bigger, a bit more balanced. Go on. And then what we can do here is add a photo. I, I went through quickly and added uh, a couple of photos from Unsplash that I can use as just some reference images um, for this. Something that kind of fits. Let's, let's pick this one. Whoa, that's a bit big. Okay, again, it's not his kitchens, but I think he needs a bit of an upgrade with how it, his work is presented. It's all part of the branding process. So let's say Rick designed this kitchen. This is where we can't see that. Okay, so this presents a problem. So what we could do here is instead have a bit of a white and then we want to, where's my effects gone? All right, hold on. Standby caller, I just need to make this a slight bit. Where is it? 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 Do I have it up here? Stroke, gradient, asset, appearance, transparency. There it is. It's already there. Okay, 50. Okay. There we go. A little bit more legible. Let's turn it up a bit more. Okay, maybe not that image. <laughs> Let's try this one. So this is where when you take photos of or utilize photos, we think about the use case before we take them. So that way we've got something that we can work with and we're not gonna, oh, that's better. That's much better, much, much, much better. Okay. Oh, I've lost my box. My little bounding box to work with. Let's do that. Go and let's make that again. The back 
and we'll drop the opacity down to 50 percent could be a little bit higher let's go 65 okay i'm happy with that centered there's some stuff going on you can see some joinery see the stove top uh, oh that could have been another little one here a little stove stove top and then that one is uh let's get rid of that 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 stay oh hello <laughs> well i can see a little bit there getting notifications nope i'm all good and then we're going to do some little burners Hobbs, if you will. Come in a little bit more there. All right. Circles, circles, circles. We don't want rounded rectangles. We want circles. I have no idea if this looks like a stove top. Probably not. That's okay. When you put it in context with other things that are going on, it will make sense. Let's unlock that. And center, center. Yep, cool. these bad boys cross Got a little bit smaller Push him in there Let's make sure he's got the right proportions stick him at the end Okay, uh, what do we write here? What do we write? What do we write? Stove and countertops. Stove and okay. Group, group. Let's distribute them. That looks pretty good. How about that? So just having something as simple as this, look, at the end of the day, it's the two different sites, obviously, but we're trying to communicate something that, as I said at the start of this, is, uh, I guess, modern to if, if what he, uh, Rick and his team are doing is to make something that is, uh, is professional, is modern, sleek, uh, for sophisticated customers, let's say, if you want to charge a more premium price, presenting a more professional, clean look that aligns with those goals uh, is what uh, you can do. Let's just move all this a little bit and let's bring that and that centered some more. I'm just getting anal retentive here while I'm talking. Um, yeah, th this is as easy as it can be in an hour and a half. <laughs> but I want to push this a bit further. Let let's try and do a, a business card and let's sell this. Let's sell this thing a little bit more. So uh, 90, oh, my rectangle tools all over here. 90 by 50, oh, 90 millimeters by 55 millimeters. Okay, got white. Go white, 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 white. Uh, let's say his name is Rick Smith. And 
So he's the owner. Flip this around. So we've got the green. And we might just fatten that up and sprinkle it out. Uh, what do we call him? Not see, this is founder. Let's say managing director. Faff it out a bit more. Okay, let's bring that down to seven and a half. Bricks here. Uh, what I might do is see how we can bring this in a little bit. That's something we didn't bring in further here. So we, you know, we could flesh, we could flesh the site out a bit more. Have a couple more panels here of this kind of thing going on. Boom, boom, boom. Sorry, I'm getting a bit quiet here. I've talked so much. <laughs> uh, here, and then we could have like another image above it. Line it all up. Rack it up, rack it up, rack it up. Pop in that image I tried to use before. Oy, it's huge again. Yep, let's flip it. That's good. Bring it behind, use a clipping mask, there we go, and then we could try out some typography, let's say that. Uh, uh, kitchens. and sizes of homes and commercial properties. Wee, what's going on there? Bring that in here, just nice and aligned. And then we can just plop in some uh, text here, which we can keep as regular and zero. Yep, maybe a little bit less text because that's a bit too heavy. Mix that with a little button. Bob's your bloody uncle. Look at that. And then we put Rick's Kitchens down the bottom here again. Look at this, it's all coming together. I'm going to open back up my G'day Frank file because I know there's some social media icons in there, I'm pretty sure. There they are. Tart it up. If the kitchen guy's on all of these, I'd be most impressed. Okay, uh, I'm getting out of frame here, I'm getting to get into into this, getting into this, getting into this. Uh, let's move these over. Make it nice and tidy. 
I'm a tidy designer. I can't have things out of alignment. I just uh, I can't do it. And then we could do something cool like this where we have a slightly Keep, yeah, I'll keep yeah. that, and then Rick's kitchens can go a little bit darker. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Whoo, that looks in schmick. Yeah, I like that. Okay, um, I'm gonna. That's going to move this here. I'm going to shrink that down a bit. And then you can have things like your uh, about services. Uh, what was the other one? Gallery. Gallery. Uh, contact us. There, and then over here we can pop in uh, privacy policy and terms yeah in terms of use Term for terms of use. Okay. Let's fan these out a bit. So we've got everything nice in alignment. Ho ho ho! Cooking with gas. And then, whoop. I just want to put a little little copyright 2021 Kitchens, PTY, LTD. and we'll make that bold look this is something that could have more pay more stuff going down the page but hell this is where we're at um, Let's go back again, comparing the pair. A fair bit different. Oh, he's got Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus. Nice. Uh, so there's there's a bit of a difference there. How a brand can, as simple as the mark is, it can roll out that little bit more. All right, back where we were. Uh, over here, I'm going to bring this into the business card. Yep, 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 yep. Looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right, something like that. Something like this. Is it a bit much? Maybe we put it down the side. Is it a bit much? 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 I don't know. I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's get going. Maybe we just do... Oop. That many. I'll get them off. Let's change him to that. Him down to seven, Oop. and then just a four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do them in the font. Uh, 
Okay, email uh, Rick. I'll just say, yeah, Rick at uh, Rick's Kitchens. You and then for the website, you look and let's go regular. a little bit bigger so it's in line with that yep okay we've got a business card let's take out these dots that looks just silly we could even just we could even just have the phone numbers what are we doing here what are we doing here all right that's one side. The other side we could have uh, the R uh, and we do a solid green, white in the middle. Nice. Clean, 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 clean. Love it. All right, let's uh, let's put this in a schmock up. Go one side first. Here's one I prepared earlier. Uh, here we go. Let's open the smart object, paste her in. It's not the same size, but let's just fudge it. Save and back to the business card. There it is. We'll just uh, squish everything, shall we? Just so we get it looking, get looking good. Um, but we want to put some context. Obviously, let's chuck in that image that we used from the website into the background. Make it look like we're holding it up in the kitchen itself. Put that in the background layer, and we're going to blur that out. Make it distinguishable. It's in a kitchen. There we go. That that just takes that mock up. You can find these. I found this one on Envato Elements. I use subscribe to Envato Elements uh, for a lot of my graphic bits and pieces, including fonts and things. Uh, but that kind of gives you an idea of tarting up something like that. It came with a blank background, but putting it into context of the surrounds of the industry that they're in or what they might be doing. This makes all of that happen. So there's one. If we wanted to have the other side, see how that looks. We could do that. And again, we can go back to this layer. Squeeze it in. Oop. Save. Nice one. So let's do a screenshot. Boom and do a screenshot back there. Oh, save back there. Okay, and do another screenshot so we can put all this stuff together. Okay, uh, all right, next one. I've got this one here. Uh, <laughs> this is from my existing client of mine. Um, base. They're a gym in the central coast of New South Wales here in Australia. Um, I just picked that same mock-up that I use for them because they have a van like that. And this is the kind of van that I saw rolling past me with uh, Rick's Kitchens on the side of it. So what I'm going to do is uh, pop the, get the side mock-up. Here we go. And we're going to put a big think what we might do, yeah, let's put a big one of these bad boys here. 
Yep. Say outlooks. Say outlooks. Trial and error. Let's get rid of that one. Let's come back to it. I'm going to save that. I'm going to close that. Once it saves, come back to the Toyota. We here we go. Not too bad. Could be a bit smaller though. So let's make it smaller. Push it to the back. How's that look? A bit bigger. Yeah. There we are. Okay, cool. And then we're going to pop in his logo. We're going to align it to that height as well. I'm going to take the base away. <laughs> Oh, that looks not so good. Let's scale it down a bit. Yeah, that looks a little bit more believable. I think it's just this mock up is just warping it in weird and wonderful ways. Uh, one thing a lot of tradies kind of do, here, especially here in Australia, I don't know about abroad. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight is uh, they put their phone number on the side. People are driving past, they notice it, see it, call it. That's business right there. So we want to have that there. How does that look? Yeah, that could work. Uh, and then we've got the front. going to put in, uh, yeah, we'll make it its own little badge. Is that working? <laughs> All right, maybe not. Uh, let's try just the horizontal. What is that markup doing? That's okay. I'm going to not worry about that. Just for the side there. I mean, there's a few different things you could do. Uh, alternatively, I guess we could have the, uh, we could have the print here, the, the pattern. And then have Rick's kitchens above it along here. Instead, uh, there we go. Yep. See how that looks. Okay, not too bad. Just going over that bit there, but look, I'm not a, I'm not a sign writer kind of person. Maybe on that middle one. So that one. Yeah, that could do. That could do. And then we just have the uh, have this one here sitting there on that panel. And we might move this all down a bit. There we go. Something like that. Let's take a screenshot. I'm not going to faff around too much more. Uh, last one, second last one, last one, hat, uh, cool, all right, let's just grab the, the mark, I always particularly like a hat, uh, with a simple mark, because it typically shows up pretty good, makes embroidery much better too, hopefully this comes out all right, yeah, sweet, all right, so if we had this a little bit smaller, okay, 
Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We can take the little cat design and just shimmy that. I'm gonna, usually I'd change this to make it look like a, a label, but we're just going to make it the color, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay. Yep, that looks good. Done. There he is. We could make it a little bit lighter because it's just not... It's getting a little bit off. There we go. That, nice. That looks a little bit more true to form. All right. Screenshot again. Uh, where are we? Oh, trader uniform. Turning up to a site, looking all professional. We want to have the logo obviously on the breast of the shirt let's bring this up here let's get it to a nice scale okay and we're gonna make it black because it's not going to show up on high viz put that there yeah, not too bad. All right, again. Another little screenshot. Okay, last one, phone. Uh, let's just put in the background. Again, we could put, pop in another little uh, photo. I've got two more photos here I could choose from. Let's go with this one. Okay, chuck that in there, nice little smeg appliances, keep going back, 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 there we go, and we're going to, what was the other one there, oh, there it was already a background, we're going to blur it out, like the last one, I might flip it so you can see some bits. Leaves the eye a bit more. Yep. Uh, we're going to slightly change the color. Slightly, slightly, slightly. Cool. Okay. And then we want to do the mock-up okay here it is let's just plop in that same one we had that image pop that over the top create a clipping mask there we are and we're gonna pop in the mark over the top like so And the idea, I guess, with using the same kind of imagery across all the different mock-ups, but realistically the same with the touch point, any touch point you have, if you can use similar assets across the board, when someone goes to your Facebook page like this, and then they go to your Instagram page and they see the similar kind of imagery, it all makes sense. It creates a, a consistent experience. Uh, I'm going to make this just that bit bigger because these lights look nice. Does it really make that work? Maybe this needs to come down a bit smaller. Maybe just centered. Nope. Again, it could be one of those things we put the white over them. Actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put this uh, color overlay white, change the opacity down. Like that. And then we're going to put in this bad boy here. 
We where are we? Look up. Yep. Uh, where is our icon? There it is. Yep. Scale it down. Oh, where'd he go? There we go. Okay, cool. Save. <coughs> Mock-up completed. All right, we're on two hours. I mean, designing this has all been done in less than two hours, but we have at least something that can show a bit of an idea of what we've designed here in that short space of time. Sure, this could be 100 times better if it needed to be. We've got logo here. We've got uh, icons. Gives it a little bit of a semi style guide sense ability about it. Got this going on. I'm gonna just pop a little border around it. There we go. Five. And then we can pop in this. Get rid of that. Scale it down a little bit. Let's not worry about making it too perfect. Uh, one thing I do think I've missed here completely is just a sense of how it all looks in black and white. Whoop, 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 okay. Oy, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, what other assets do we have? We had these sinks. Taps and stuff. All these icons. There we go. Sorry, I'm just getting fastidious. There we go, there we go, there we go. Let's just get rid of the words actually. Boom, 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 boom. Bring this in, bring that in, bring that in. Okay, there's some icons to go with it. Nice one. Okay, and I'm going to bring that, scale that down because we've got some other mock-ups coming in. Right, let's bring mock-ups in. So we've got the hat. We've got the trade shirt. Let's put the trade shirt down the bottom here. Hard to see. I've got the business card. Let's bring that down here. Just 
Sorry, I'm just get, again getting 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 it all looking pretty ish. Uh, okay, and then we've got uh, bring it back up. Uh, phone. And I think the van was the other one. That was it. Yep. And the van. Took the van in the middle. Put it in the back. In the front. Let's make these a little smaller. All right. In two hours, there is, whoop, there is a identity, visual identity, done on the fly for a kitchen cabinetry maker based here in Australia. Looks like a small business owner, uh, probably doing it tough at the moment given we're all in lockdown. Uh, so this is me just simply looking at how uh, visual identities and logo designs can help improve that first impression that you have of a business. Again, it's not to say that this is the be all end all amazing greatest thing that's ever been made. Uh, it's just there to show you that what can be done in a small amount of time uh, it does come down to the fact that I do have over a decade of experience as well in this space. Um, but to go from uh, Rick's original identity here, which with a logo, we're not too sure what it could be, uh, and a site that is a little bit empty um, and not as, I guess, professional as others out there on the market. I'm sure he's competing with a lot of other high-end established brands that people would know in... Uh, our market here in Australia and that's the toughest thing for a small business to have that to be able to stand out and so what we've got here is a memorable color a simple typeface that you can read a simple message Blue Mountain Kitchen specialists um, that should say Blue Mountain yeah Blue Mountains yeah kitchen specialists um, you've got icons that represent what is you do it forms part of the logo that you have it forms a shape that it is related to the name, the R. Um, it kind of symbolizes what you do, obviously. And then you can turn it into a pattern and then it, it lends itself to different touch points at small and large scale uh, to make it easily memorable. I mean, two squares, a rounded circle, kind of rounded off square. I don't know what you call it. And a triangle. It doesn't get as sim any simpler than that. I don't think uh, it works in context in different situations and uh that's that's this is it uh i'm pretty chuffed with that i'm glad i got to a bit of a point where i'm happy with something uh it, this really could have tanked <laughs> uh, but this shows that when you follow a process and you tick certain boxes to make something work and make sure that it can work in different ways then um we we just need to look at it as keeping it as simple as possible. That way it can help translate across all these different places um, in the real world, rather than just showing a logo on a page. Like if you just saw the logo by itself and go, what do you think? It's a little bit uh, basic. It doesn't say much about how it could be rolled out. It doesn't help a business owner see what could be done um, with it, especially if you aren't there to roll it out and help them uh, implement it. Um, mock-ups and things whether or not they come to fruition will give them a good uh, inkling of what they could do next so look with that uh, i want to say thanks so much for coming to the stream looking through it following me along i'm not too sure if anyone has been here the whole way through i don't have those metrics up in front of me uh, i think it's a bit vain to do so but um what i would say is if you're watching this back or you're watching it live uh give uh let's go back here uh, a subscribe would, where is it? Here we go. Um, would really help um, encourage me to keep doing this. I hope you found it entertaining. 
interesting, insightful, uh, shows a bit of my process at least that I take to create what it is I do. I put a lot more effort into it than just two hours. I guarantee you that. Um, but sometimes it can happen really quickly. Uh, this is, I guess, proof of the pudding. One thing I haven't done here as well is uh, seen if this logo itself, which is something I do as due diligence, is available on IP Australia so that uh, my client could trademark it. Uh, that way it gives me an indication that I've not copied someone else. Same thing goes for doing a Google reverse search. Um, just taking the black and white part of the logo itself and then putting it into a reverse search, uh, you know what comes back there. And if something that's similar, especially if it's in the same industry, then uh, you know you're not on the right kind of tack. You need to change tack and, uh, and come up with something that's a little bit more unique for them. That and solves the purpose, uh, solves the need, solves the purpose, fits the purpose, um, and, and solves the problem. That's that's the better way of looking at it. And uh, it, it it can it can kick goals. So with that, thank you so much for joining me here. I'm gonna leave you, love you, and leave you here um, by saying a big thanks. It's my first live stream. It it was fun. It's two hours on a Saturday night. What more could you ask for as a designer? Um, but until next time, I will see you in the next video. I don't know when it will be, but I'll see you then. Take care. Bye.